Hey everybody, this is JP with Inksoft, and in this video, I'm really excited to share with you a super cool new feature that we've added to the Rapid Product Creator. Now this is a feature that allows you to create logo colorways. So let me kind of take you through the workflow and I'll showcase how to take full advantage of this new functionality. Now of course, you can log into whichever Inksoft online store that you are managing. So in this case, I can go ahead and toggle edit mode once I've logged in as an admin. Then I can select art. So a little of this may be repeat, but I wanna make sure everybody has a full appreciation and understanding of the Rapid Product Creator workflow, since this is a new feature that assists in that workflow. Now, of course, when I log in and click edit mode, I can select store art. Now, store art is functionality that allows you to manage all of your art assets at each selling opportunity. So this creates a centralized repository of all the art and you can even choose to make art active and inactive. So think of active art as the art files that are currently in use, you know, for the, maybe the, the current year, the current campaign, but I can choose to make an art asset inactive, which moves it to this view here. So inactive can be files that maybe were last year's imprint, but maybe you wanna keep a ledger and a history and a record of previous art assets because maybe in the future it'll become valuable or useful Maybe there's a rerun or reprint or something of that nature. So I just wanted to point out quickly um, that uh, you can manage art assets by active and inactive. Now let's get to the ability to create colorways at the art level. So first thing you'll notice if you've been working in the Rapid Product Creator is you'll notice there's new messaging at the very bottom left of each of the art cards that display here. So you'll see whether uh, no colorways have been generated, it will say no colorways. In the event that you've generated colorways, it will display the number of colorways that you've created. Now, I do want to point out, uh, in, in this case, I have inactive. I've uploaded a JPEG, and you'll notice colorways not supported. So this functionality is really intended for vector-based art content. So with that said, uh, some of the raster files are going to be ineligible to create colorways from. That's better served you know, working natively in Photoshop uh, or other tools. So in this case, uh, here I have three vector assets. What I'm gonna do now is I can you know, select the gear icon, which allows me to manage colorways, of course, make inactive or delete altogether. Now when I click manage colorways, we're gonna give you a new interface here that gives you a large preview of your art asset on the left. And of course, if you have a lot of intricate detail in your vector base file, this just gives you a good showcase uh, of that detail. Now, let me take you through this uh, very simple workflow here. So notice on the right-hand side, you have your original art asset here at the very top. Right below that, I can create new colorway. So we'll get to that in a moment's time, but if you wanna generate a colorway, you'll select that option. But right below that, here are the three colorways that I've already created. So we have a blue iteration, and if I hover my mouse over that, I, I can see that. And of course, we have a, a, a single color white asset. And notice how we automatically establish a gray background just to showcase that white asset so you can preview it. And then you'll notice we have a 100% black asset. So you also notice a little trash icon. And if you click that, that's gonna give you the ability to delete that specific colorway. So be careful when making that decision. Now what I can do is click the option that says new, create new colorway. And what that's gonna do is showcase the original logo colors on the left hand side. So here I have a thumbnail color. So for the gray that's in the asset, if I want to recolor that, I'll select the option that says select color to the very right of that specific color, and I can select a new color. Now there's a few ways to do this. So notice at the very top we have the ability to toggle between custom color and palettes. So this is a great way for you to choose a custom color or interact with any of the color palettes that you've created and saved in Inksoft. So let's say that you've created your standard issue screen print palette, maybe you have special palettes for specialty print purposes, maybe DTG, whatever it might be. You can toggle between palette, make a selection of a palette, and then see all the palette colors that are available and select from those. So a really simple way to manage colors. Now let's go back to custom color. Again, at the very top, you have your original art colors. You have a custom color selector, and this is all real-time previewing. You also have the ability to adjust the sh shade and really target specific colors here. And lastly, at the very bottom, you can input a, an exacting hexadecimal value. So in this case, I can enter in a hex value. Uh, I can also toggle between hex by using this arrow uh, up-down uh, icon to the right. I can toggle between hex, RGB, 
or HSL. So that's a, a very simple way to manage the colors that are in an art asset. So what I'll do now is I'll just select done, but I can continue to target and select colors. So in this case, I can continue to recolor this to 100% black by inputting my colors at each of the logo colors. So you can see a really quick workflow here for recoloring and then saving colorways. Now, let me kind of show you the relationship of creating colorways and how that interacts with the rapid product creator. So now that I've generated you know, my different colorways, what I can do now is click products and I can say create new. And of course, this is gonna take you through the rapid product creator workflow. And that's the ability to take a blank product that's in your Inksoft catalog and marry that up with different art assets and now different art assets and their different colorways. So of course you can search and filter to find the right product for this sales opportunity or this campaign or this store. I can select that product. And then what I can do of course is choose an art asset from the right hand side. So let me kind of set up the, the workflow here. Let's say that our customer wants a white t-shirt with a black imprint and they want a black t-shirt with a white imprint. So what I can do, I'm gonna take it to the workflow of managing that now. So what I'm gonna do is click on this full color symbol. And of course, I'm, I'm gonna click view colorways. So notice how we give you the option to see the original asset, but then see all the different colorways that are eligible. So what I'm gonna do is for the white garment, I'm gonna select the black iteration. What I'm gonna do now is go to add color. So I'm gonna add a product color. I'm gonna add a black garment to this mix. And of course, I'm gonna select the done option here at the very bottom. So I can click on the black option and it always is gonna to default to the original art. But what I can do is hover my mouse over the different colorways. So in this case, I'll select the white version. So what I've just done is I've created one SKU that's available in white with a black imprint and available as a black garment with a white imprint. So that's all about logo colorway and then product colorway. And you can see as a result of this new functionality, we've re really bridged that gap and unified the ability to create proper products for e-commerce or for showcase to your customers using the rapid product creator workflow. Now, of course, I can click create product when I'm done and that will add that product to that temporary holding area where I can then view that product and I can go on to build more iterations. So uh, we hope you appreciate this new functionality. Again, this was all built on your, your request. Uh, we look forward to adding even more functionality as part of the Rapid Product Creator workflow. In fact, we have a lot of additional enhancements and features that will be coming soon. So please share your feedback with us. And of course, to do that, you can send your feedback directly to myself, jphunt at inksoft.com. We're certainly eager to see what you think about this new function. And we're even more eager to showcase and release uh, upcoming functionality. So there is a help article that is available. So just go to help.inksoft.com. Uh, or reach out to the Inksoft Success Squad with any questions you may have.